Hi folks, I am Stacy, your Teen Services Library Assistant at the Goffstown Public Library, and you are tuning in to Let's Create Teen DIY. It is the month of September, and with that brings warm days and cool nights as we start to transition into fall. It also brings new schedules as back to school in all of its various forms has started. I kept these things in mind when I was thinking of this month's teen to go bag and teen DIY craft. So let's talk about these teen to go bags. There will be a teen to go bag each month to coincide with the videos that I'll be doing for the Let's Create Teen DIY. Here's three things you need to know about these bags. Number one, they are for tweens and teens in grades five through 12. Number two, they have the major supplies and directions needed to complete our crafts. And three, they are available only while supplies last. So you wanna come and get them early if you can. Are you wondering how to get your hands on the teen to go bags? It's very simple. Visit the Gosstown Public Library during our browsing hours. Now for fall, here are the times. Monday, Thursday, Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesday and Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. And even Saturday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Those are the times that you can come in to pick up our teen to go bags. They have a dedicated shelf right in the foyer slash circulation area. So this month is really not a craft. It's actually a delicious prelude to cool mornings and cool nights. It's also something delicious to get you fueled up for all that brain power you'll be using. We'll be making mug muffin recipes. In each bag, you will find a brochure with three mug muffin recipes, as well as a mug to make your scrumptious treat in. So now we're gonna make one of those recipes together. And I chose the blueberry muffin because I love blueberry muffins. Actually, for the longest time, I really only liked the tops of the blueberry muffins. That's right, I would peel the tops off, eat those, and leave the stumps behind for somebody else in my family. Does anyone else do that? Someone told me that you can actually just make muffin tops, and I tried, it wasn't the same. But mug muffin, I eat that whole thing. And the other thing that I love about it is that when you make a muffin recipe, you usually have 12 to 24 muffins. I might only want blueberry muffins one or two days. Maybe I want cinnamon chip after that, or maybe I don't want a muffin anymore. I want something egg-based. With mug muffin recipes or even egg recipes, you can make a different type of yummy, delicious morning or evening snack any day of the week. Okay, so if you have a teen to go bag, I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to gather up your ingredients and then you can make this along with me. If you don't have a teen to go bag, that's okay. You can follow along anyway. So, to my kitchen. Okay, so here I am in my kitchen. So when you pull out your teen to go kit, you should have one of these, which is your mug recipe brochure, and then you should also have a mug. And so what we're gonna do is I already have my ingredients out. So we're just gonna go open this up to the blueberry muffin and we're gonna follow the steps and then get into the microwave. Here we go. Okay, so the first step was to take your two tablespoons of butter and to put it in a microwave safe dish and then microwave it for 30 seconds. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna put that off to the side and we're gonna move on to number two. Number two says in your mug to stir together the flour, the sugars, and the baking powder. So here is my mug, here is my flour. We have a tablespoon of brown sugar, and then we're going to do two and a half tablespoons of regular sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Okay, off to the side. And then we're gonna stir that together. So I'm gonna grab a fork and give that a stir. Okay, next on number three, we're gonna pour in the melted butter, our milk and our vanilla. So here is our melted butter. Our milk. And our vanilla. Guess what I forgot, people? My baking powder from earlier. Boop. No worries. 
All right. And then I think we wanna mix this well to make sure that there's no flour on the bottom that's not getting um, any of the liquid on it. So give that a good mix. Okay. We're gonna gently fold in our blueberries and then we're gonna put this in the microwave for two minutes. So blueberries in, gently fold. Try not to stab your blueberries. My blueberries were huge, actually. So here I am over at the microwave, but before I put my um, mug muffin in, I want to go over the hot tips, okay? So your cooking time may vary depending on what type of microwave that you have. I have a really small microwave, like, I don't know, 700 watt or whatever. Um, so I might have to put mine on for a little bit more than two minutes. Yours may go faster, so stay with your mug muffin. The other thing is um, your mug is going to be hot when it comes out of that microwave. So please don't burn yourself. Plus the contents inside your um, mug is going to be hot. So don't dig right in away and start eating. Let it cool a little bit. Uh, I think those are the hot tips I wanted to tell you. Uh, so let me get this in the microwave right now. Contents of our mug muffin is inside. Into the microwave it goes. Door shut. Let's hope. Two minutes. Hey, so I've opened up my microwave. There is my muffin. Um, obviously I had a blueberry that went rogue. So if you do this at home, make sure you clean up your microwave later. Your guardians will thank you. All right, I'm going to take my muff my mug muffin out remember it's going to be hot so grab something so that you don't burn your fingers mm -mm -mm. let's let it cool off and dig in all right i think it's cooled off enough i am ready to give a really big bite mm-hmm this hits the spot, it's better than a muffin top. So let's head back to the library. We're all done here. So we have reached the end of this episode of Let's Create Teen DIY. If you made this recipe today, I would love to see your creation. So please comment here in our description field, or you could even comment on Gosford Public Library's teen Facebook page. I'll be back next month with a whole new teen to go bag and a new video for Let's Create Teen DIY to go along with that bag. If you don't want to miss it and you want to know as soon as it goes up, then you have to subscribe to Gosstown Public Library's YouTube channel. And subscribing will also make sure that you don't miss two other new videos that will be coming out this month. Teen Book Browsing with Stacy and Essential Life Skills for Teens. Both of those videos will be premiering later this month. You don't wanna miss it. And don't forget to check out Gosstown Public Library's calendar of events so you know what's going on for tweens and teens at the library. That's all I have for today. So until next time, friends, bye.